So first off, <clears throat> query language. If two people are going to talk, there has to be an established language so both of them can understand. So that's what we do here. We have a transport protocol and we have a query language, which is a DSL, which uh, the database server understands and provides a client library so that uh, your client application writing in different languages can pick up the suitable library and start talking to the database. SQL first up. Um, and I think most of the people would know SQL, most adopted query language in my opinion. Uh, and this, this is a very famous uh, quote that I found somewhere. I, I don't know who sort of first um, came up with it. So, um, but other than I, I, I don't care, claim credit for it. Um, it says SQL behaves somewhat like a virus. Your new database system will end up catching it. Uh, kind of funny, uh, but but if you look at uh, some of the um, databases that had taken a stand on the NoSQL side, a lot of them are coming up with their own SQL dialects. Of course, these are different from the KNSI uh, SQL standards, uh, but but there are still SQL with uh, small modifications you can move from one database to another um, with, with some certain changes in your um, application that is calling the database. Um, if you typically look at SQL from the conventional point of view, it's, its connotation is related to relational database models where data is organized into different tables. Uh, you also call them relations and each piece of data is a row in the database. Example being uh, MySQL Server, Postgres, Oracle, or SQLite is an uh, embedded one, still uh, SQL database, and probably one of the most used, given uh, all the smaller tools, IOTs, your phones and stuff, use SQLite. But then uh, SQL, like I said, has found uses uh, beyond the relational databases. Uh, which means ClickHouse and Druid are not SQL databases in the conventional sense, although these also speak uh, SQL these days. In fact, ClickHouse only supports SQL. Druid has SQL as well as another native language. And then SQL is now actually supported across streaming uh, systems as well. So if you look at Kafka's KSQL DB or Apache Flink or uh, some of the older ones, you uh, so some of the newer ones in the streaming uh, system, they all uh, support SQL in, in some form or are they plan to support. Uh, NoSQL uh, as the next query language. Uh, there were several driving forces behind the NoSQL movement, if I may say so. Uh, first being need for greater scalability. Uh, then the relational databases uh, can easily achieve. There, there are ways to make relational databases work on scale, but they, they, they are uh, very easy to achieve. Um, secondly, if you have a very large data set or you want to have a very high write throughput, then you uh, typically have all these databases which classify under NoSQL databases. If you have specialized query operations, uh, for instance, MongoDB is something that popularized document databases, um, Redis and DynamoDB for uh, NoSQL databases, which are on uh, key value, uh, Neo4j uh, for graph database. Additionally, if you have requirements for more dynamic and expressive data models, so you don't want to be limited by um, the tables and columns. Uh, for instance, uh, MongoDB allows you to uh, write documents which are way more flexible and you don't really have to struggle with um, data migrations, kind of the most dreaded thing in the backend development world. And then there are uh, some uh, strict uh, schema related um, things that are forced on you when you used uh, when you use uh, your relational databases. Um, then there are some good parts to it and then there are some bad. So if you, if you have those cases where you don't need this, then you could use a NoSQL DB. Uh, the name NoSQL is something, in my own opinion, I, I think it's a very unfortunate name. Um, I mean, you, I, I am called Sivji, so you can't call the next gentleman uh, not Sivji. It's, it's quite weird, right? Um, 
it was first used the legend has it that it was first used as a hashtag hashtag before a meetup uh, on non database databases in 2009 and then it got up it got popular and people started using it but nosql um, i think comes in a different of uh, a different a lot of different varieties uh, over the last decade or so there's been a lot of um, research and uh, development in this space so you have document databases uh, mongodb being uh, the most popular one in my opinion uh, key value databases in uh, redis uh, for caching in memory uh, it also has some sort of persistence but dynamodb if you want persistent key value stores is something that uh, stands out for graph databases neo4j arongodb ongdb amazon's uh, neptune and on the column oriented databases you have google's big table uh, on the open source side you have uh, clickhouse android uh, uh, if you are looking for database as a service, you also have Snowflake. Uh, 